Oh sure, like your head's never been cold. Also, you're watching a video about a Unix text editor from the 90s. What do you know about fashion? But anyway, enough time wasting. Let's get on to today's procrastination session. What key binds do I recommend for Vim? Oh, that's my Z shell RC. Oops, that's really embarrassing. Okay, I have all my maps defined like this. I'm defining them in Lua, but you don't gotta do that. I'm just performative like that. I guess it's now performative to do it in Vim script. Tables have turned. But yeah, we've got uh, this just alias to make the mapping easier. I set my map leader to space. And then these are the, the really basic ones, right? There's um, write, uh, W for write. I could also do update, I guess. That would not write if uh, there were no changes. And then this is uh, buff delete. And the reason I have this is sometimes like you have, uh, I have a recency picker, which I'll show next. Sometimes you get something in there you don't want. Like, let's say we have a PDF in there, you know, and then I could, I could quit out of this PDF. Oops, that quit everything. I forgot. I have that binding set up. Super embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, now we've got like trash in our, our picker. So if I go to, if I go back to the, the RC, damn, I opened up the wrong one again. Um, but yeah, now this recency picker is just absolutely trash. So we could go to this and then do like, I don't even remember what I have it set to. Leader BD, leader buff delete. Okay, and then the recency picker would not have that in it anymore. So that's the reason for that. And it's there's actually quite a few edge cases. The reason I use this mini buff delete instead of just the built-in buff delete, or buff remove, sorry, is uh, it, it handles certain things, like if you're in splits and whatever, it'll it'll deal with the edge cases, which I just find nice. It's pretty trivial to deal with yourself, but I don't want to. Okay, and then these are just for quit and quit all. Um, most people have those. The reason I'm not using ZQ, which is a built-in, ZQ is just muscle memory. And then let's see, we've got control F, this just opens. It runs the command to open the current uh, directory in my file explorer, which is nice for working with media. Finder's not great, but yeah. This, probably a better way to map these, but recently um, someone told me that true chads use semicolon instead of colon because you don't have to hold shift and that's, that's an OG remap. People did back in the day basically as common as caps lock to escape. And then we've got these for the opening the RC files. These are the ones I mess up constantly for some reason, but I just spam the other one and then I get to it. Could add more in the future for other RC files if I touch them enough, but those are the ones that I get my paws into the most. And then these, this is leader S. Oh, I don't have an alternate, but let's say I'm in my Tmux. Leader S will switch between the last two and then leader capital S will split between the last two. And so, yeah, I find that quite nice. And then leader M, I'm experimenting with this, never really used it, but this is just for if I wanted to move something. Uh, let's see, if I, if I hit space M, leader M, yeah, it just moves the current line by default, or I could select and go like that, and then do plus two. Okay, I did not, leader M, plus two, did not like that, plus one, did not like that either. No idea why I have that, deleting it. I use norm so much, this makes sense. Yeah, I buy that. Instead of typing semicolon norm, I type leader n, just because I, I love to use norm. This is kind of a dumb remap, but I use it because it just, I, I want to get better at using norm. I want to just be a norm god, so kind of incentivizing myself. These are my system clipboard uh, binds. I also have leader c for colon because I can't decide on anything, but I don't need that anymore if I'm using semicolon. It's redundant. System clipboard, there, there are better ways to do this as well. Um, I think, okay, whatever, I'm leaving that for now. Someone in the comments can fix it. That was embarrassing. Okay, soft reload the config file. Oh, this is just leader O, sources the current file. And um, I should actually just define this as, instead of, oh, this is turning into me just programming my Vim config. He's gonna update source and then probably only wanna add that in my MRC. Can we can we like write other files? Okay, yeah, I have to fix that in the future. These are just for terminal mode, which I rarely use in Vim to be honest. But if I go term, oh, I, I should probably have split that. So let's let's go um, Control W V term, and then I can just basically escape terminal mode, and then just like use window commands to jump between things. It's a lot easier. Okay, and then LF for language format. And then 
Control E, these are all Lewis snip bindings, just kind of ignore those, that's a whole video topic on its own. And then I've got Live Grep, which is just, I don't know what it sounds like, and then Pick Files, also what it sounds like, Pick Buffers, which is just recency, which is kind of nice, and then this switches between pairs of files, like GLSL files, I've showed that in the past too. Leader H is just for help, or you can just, if you're a Chad, just go to help, but that's fine. And then Leader E, uh, does oil stuff. Um, it just opens oil like that, and then I guess I have leader E for float oil. I never ever use that though, so that's interesting. This is just for expanding completions, I guess, but I have that auto expanding now, so I don't need that. This, control WV, is for resizing, so I can go like that. I could do it in the other way too, but no need to. This is for spelling mistake correction, I guess, but I don't use that so much anymore. I just do Z equals one or one Z equals. Uh, if we, let's see, there are default binds that are good. So set spell, I'm still getting used to this semicolon thing, by the way. Um, we can do bracket S to travel to the next spelling mistake, and then we can do Z equals to see them all. And it looks like none of those are good, so I'll just quit out of it, but you get the idea. And then this is for, now we're getting onto the weird bespoke ones. So this is a great one someone sent me. It basically is a quick uh, substitute. So you select what you want and then control S and it puts you in the substitute very no magic mode, which is just such a common workflow that I just do it all the time. Same thing for one. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty nice. It just allows you to select and then substitute. Very no magic just means that you don't have to escape certain characters that you usually do. These I got recently, so I'm still getting used to them, and I'm getting used to a lot of these still, to be honest. This is just to add stuff to Quick Fix, so I can control Q to open it, I can leader A, and then if I like open up Tmux, I can leader A, and then I can leader 1, 2 to switch between them, and then control Q to toggle it again. So that's pretty nice. Let's see. Okay, and then back here. Um, and this is just for some Quick Fix bindings, like the ability to delete things, like DD, and then it's fixed. Someone on my GitHub recommended that to me, but yeah, I want to hear all your binds. I've, as much as I demean you, I do respect this audience, unfortunately. So, yeah, drop your most unusual, interesting, good binds. I used to be a very uh, minimalist, like no extra binds, no extending Vim's functionality because you have to be able to use it on a server. But my goals have shifted a little bit. For one, because I no longer work on servers as much. I do my local development a lot more just because I switched jobs and yeah, it's it's just, I want a more bespoke custom configuration for speed. And another reason is you can always use to get your, um, it's it, getting all these plugins working and stuff and NeoVim working on a server is a headache, but almost every server has a version of Vim that supports basic syntax. So you can do make Vim RC. Um, okay, it's maybe MK Vim RC. I'm not sure, MK Vim RC, yep. And that should output somewhere um, in maybe some root directory, vimrc, yeah. And you can see this is all the basic maps. And I like to kind of go through this every once in a while before I'm gonna go to a remote and just like delete ones that have to do with plugins, you know. And it's it's pretty easy to see because you can see plug on all of them. You could honestly just like do like, a, for everything that has plug, you could do, let's see, g, uh, I think you have to select the file globally, unfortunately, g, plug and then slash d underscore so we don't clobber registers boom now we have a vimrc that works on servers um yeah and basically it basically will work anywhere this dumps your options as well which is nice you can see down here uh, but yeah that's about it for cool bindings let's go back um i think yeah i think that's all i've got in terms of the bindings i'm using right now but i'd like to hear your bindings Man, this hat goes hard. All right, I'll catch you next time.